we have come into this house to gather in his name and worship him. There may be things that may be distracting us this morning. There may be things that we might be worried about. There may be uh, sins that we may be caught up in. But let us put it all away as we come into the presence of God to worship the living God. My Jesus, my Savior, there is no one like you. Father, there is no one like you. Lord, you deserve all the glory, all the honor, all the praise, Lord, this morning. Lord, you are our refuge and strength. Psalm 46 verse 1 says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. 
next song we'll sing is uh, holy overshadowing <laughs> verses uh, from the book of uh, First Corinthians chapter 13, the familiar passage. I'll read the first few verses. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith so as to move mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all I have, and if I deliver up my body to be burnt, but have not love, I gain nothing. Church, uh, we can be doing a lot of things. We can be praying, we can be fasting, we can be giving our tithes, we can be having the disciplines, but if we don't have love, then it is pointless. Uh, we'll sing the song um, and we'll do it in rounds. The uh, men can follow me and the women can uh, follow the rest. Yeah. 
loving Heavenly Father. <coughs> this may be oftentimes very simple to understand, but it may be so hard for us to practice. Lord, I pray that you will give us your grace, that you will fill our lives, you will fill our hearts with your love, so that people around us, people at home, people at the workplace, people in the communities that we live in, people out in the marketplace, will know that we belong to you. In Jesus' name. Going on, we'll sing this uh, hymn, uh, rescue the perishing which comes out of a heart of love unless God fills us with his love we cannot be and we will not be thinking outside of ourselves we will not be thinking of the world around us we have to become the hands and the feet of Christ rescue the perishing care for the dying Lord, once upon a time, we were against you. We were mocking you. We were prideful. We did not care about you. But Lord, you came down to us. You rescued us. While we were dying in our sins, you pulled us out from the grave. Lord, I pray that you will give us your love. You will fill our hearts with your concern so that, Lord, we will be able to look at the needs around us this day. The next song is uh, Knowing You, Jesus. Oh 
like to read a few verses from uh, the book of Philippians chapter 3 and it exactly talks about what uh, we just sang. This is Paul writing to the Philippians. Verse 4 onwards, though I myself have reason for confidence in the flesh also, if anyone else thinks he has reason for confidence in the flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, as to the law, a Pharisee, as to zeal, a persecutor of the church, as to righteousness under the law, blameless. But whatever gain I had, I counted as loss for the sake of Christ. Indeed, I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. For his sake I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish in order that I may gain Christ. My friends, this morning, it's not all the things we own, it's not our titles, it's not the families we come from, it's not the money we have, it's not our positions, it's not our degrees, it's not even the church we belong to, it's not even all the good things we do for Christ, we stand here because of what Christ has done for us. And that is our only treasure. We'll sing this next song, Yeshunam, the name of Christ, which is precious above everything else that we know or we can claim or we can call our own. Yeah. 
please be seated. This time is open for worship. If you have a verse, a prayer, a song, a word of encouragement, it's time to share. at which every knee bows and every tongue confesses because Jesus Christ is Lord and that is to the glory of our Heavenly Father. Lord, we thank you for this name, the name that is unblemished, the name that is filled with love, the name that is a signature of God the Father, the name that chose to die for humans while we were yet sinners. Lord, we thank you and we praise you. Lord, in addition to this name being so special, we are so grateful that this name has given us an identity, an identity that is far more than anything else that enables us to enjoy the richness of your presence. We thank you and we praise you. We thank you, Lord, that you have chosen, Lord, the name Jesus, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you have shown us, Lord. There's no other name given unto men that we may be saved, O Father. We thank you, Lord, that the Lord Jesus said, I am the I am, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that the great and awesome and almighty Jehovah, Lord. We come before you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you have called us to honor and revere your name, O Lord. So we pray that you will be exalted in our midst, Lord. We bless you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let Israel now say, his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron now say, his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord now say, His mercy endures forever. The Lord is my strength and song, and He has become my salvation. You are my God, and I will praise you. You are my God, I will exalt you. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. For his mercy endures forever. Lord, we acknowledge and we want to bow before you and say, You are our God and we will praise you. You are our God and we will, we will worship you. Lord, we give you thanks and accept the humble worship of our hearts. Amen. my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, so shall I shall be saved from my enemies. Loving Heavenly Father, what a joy it is for us to be found in your holy sanctuary, to count on your blessings, to count on the amazing grace and the love with which you loved us. You loved us and gave your only son for us to die for us on the cross, to draw us closer to you and to your kingdom. Thank you, Lord, this morning. We can say he loved me and gave himself for me. Because you gave yourself for me, Lord, for us, we are found worthy to be in your presence, to praise you, to thank you, and to worship you. As the psalmist says, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. You are our rock. You are our refuge. You are our shepherd. You are our wonderful counselor. You are our mighty God, the Prince of Peace. We worship you, we praise you. Thank you for your word you are given in our hands 
which teaches us every day, even instructs us and rebukes us. We thank you for your precious word. Thank you for the sealing of your Holy Spirit. Thank you for the fellowship of saints. Thank you for your desire to prepare us every day for your coming. Help us till then to keep loving, drawing closer to you and serving you. Accept our praises and thanksgiving in Jesus' precious and mighty name. Amen. Most loving Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. The great opportunity given, given to me, Lord, to worship you, to bow down your name, Jesus. Your name is above all name. Your God is your you are the name. Your name is a, the wonderful name. Your name is a sweet name, of God. I thank you, Lord. I praise you for wonderful love you showed on the, the cross of Calvary. You shed blood for us, Lord. Oh God, you redeemed us from the darkness. Lord, you brought the, the great light, the marvelous light, the wonderful light, Lord, to know you more and more in our life, oh God. I thank you, Lord. I praise you, Jesus. Oh, my Father, <coughs> what a great privilege, Lord, to call us Abba, Father. Yes, Lord, you give us the freedom to, Lord, to worship you. Yes, Lord, Jesus, you are our my God. You are my our fortress, Lord. Oh, God, <coughs> you, you need in our life, oh God. Without you, we can't do anything, my Father. Jehovah Jireh, you are our provider, oh God. Yes, Lord. We are, the, we are a sinner, but Lord, you are the holy God. Yes, Lord. You are the perfect God in our life, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, we are privileged, Lord, to honor you. We are privileged, Lord, to worship you, God. Yes, Lord. Take me, my humble worship, Jesus' name. Amen. We'll rise up and sing uh, the very familiar hymn. Um, oh, for a thousand tongues to sing. Uh, we'll lift our voices as we sing this uh, hymn, Oh, for a thousand uh, tongues to sing. Uh, the words of the song are very meaningful. And I request you all, uh, even as we enter into the service, into uh, preparing ourselves to receive God's word, uh, let us uh, sing the words of the song uh, together. May it be the prayer of our hearts, may it be the adoration of our hearts. Even if we had a thousand tongues, it would not be enough to praise God. This short time is never enough. Uh, may God grant us the grace <coughs> to rid ourselves of any sense of familiarity or monotony. May he give us a fresh <coughs> glimpse of him uh, this morning. Go for a thousand tongues to sing. Heavenly Father, thank you for this time that you gave us. Thank you because you are real. Thank you because you are still on the throne. Thank you because you are risen. Lord, 
I pray that this risen power will continue to rule in our lives, to enable us to love you and to serve you all the days of our lives. Amen.